Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my thoughts on some new makeup releases for June. These videos are always inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series, so I'll have her channel listed below. And if you guys want to know what products I'm going to be purchasing this month and what products I'm going to be passing on, then just keep on watching. Alright, so before we get started on the new products, I did want to go ahead and give you guys an update about the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks because I have had them for a little over a week now um, and there's been a lot of drama going on with the lipsticks, a lot of quality issues. I've seen a lot on Twitter. I just started watching um, Raw Beauty Chrissy's video when I was getting ready and I haven't even finished it. I'm just like in the first like 10 minutes of her video and I've just seen like the pictures that she's shared about it. So I wanted to give you guys just a quick update um, on my lipsticks. All my lipsticks are totally fine. I've been like just seeing the pictures and I've been so paranoid about them, but like all my lipsticks look exactly the same as they did when I first opened them, when I showed them to you guys. I've been like re-swatching and applying them and just like staring at them close up. They look completely normal the trio that I got there's absolutely like nothing wrong I've just been doing this for like hours for the past well maybe not hours but I've just been doing this like every time I see a tweet I like run to my lipstick and I'm like is there mold is there hair like what is going on but I had no issue like all of mine look fine every time like I swatch it like nothing happens texture wise like it looks like a normal lipstick I'm not gonna cut them open I don't have a microscope to show you guys them like close close up in detail but exactly the way I got them they looked totally fine so I didn't have any issue with my order with them everything that I said in my review what they look like apply like and everything it's just been consistent since I've gotten them so I'll leave my video linked below my YouTube video and then I also did another close-up swatch video on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out um, basically there has been so much quality control issues i just like lucked out i guess with these lipsticks and even when i got my jacqueline vault eyeshadow palette mine is totally perfect and like everybody messaged me like friends of mine are like no i got one that sucks so i've just been like getting lucky with the products that jacqueline hill has come out with that have had some quality control issues but there are pictures on twitter that i'm seeing that like really gross me out of like little hairs or what looks like mold and the lipsticks, I'm not seeing any of that at all. My lipsticks don't smell bad or anything like that. Um, but let me know, let us know in the comments if you guys have had any issues like that with your order from Jonathan Cosmetics. And this weirded me out. So Raw Beauty Christy shared this photo where there's like hair on the lipstick and it just oh it creeps me out and then Jacqueline tweeted if any of you are receiving lipsticks like this please know that this is not hair my factory used brand new white gloves to do quality control and they shed all over my product we switched to rubber gloves two days ago blah 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 um how hairy are these gloves are they like winter mittens like super super furry mittens that there's hair just falling all over these lipsticks like that makes no sense to me and that annoyed me i just don't get it about these hairy gloves like there's so many little issues there's like hair there's um like little balls in some of the lipsticks i'm not having any of that i only bought three lipsticks but had i bought like maybe eight or something maybe i would have had that issue also i live in la where the lipsticks shipped from so they didn't melt they didn't have any of that issue because it's really dry here it's not really hot right now it's pretty mild so that's probably why i didn't have any issues with my lipstick um i don't know what like the percentages of good lipsticks that people received versus bad ones but the hairy gloves what that that makes no sense to me. I've never heard of that in my life. All right, so there's enough drama videos out there about this. If you guys want to hear more details, I'm going to try to move on from this. But, like, I've just been seeing all these tweets all day, and I'm like, what? Why are these lipsticks hairy? Um, just know I did not have any issues at all. Everything that I said in my review, my lips are so totally fine. They feel fine. Um, really like the formula, but I definitely was planning on purchasing another trio or more lipsticks when they restock and like i don't want to risk that now there's hair and possible mold or something in some of the lipsticks but 
Now I'm getting heated and I, that's why I don't talk about drama because it makes me angry. <laughs> Alright, so let me move on from that. I'm going to go actually on another rant about a product, but this is not because of the brand. It's because of me. <laughs> and this is about the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. This palette is stunning. Oh my god, this palette is gorgeous. I feel like this is the palette I've been waiting for this summer. So I saw this palette teased for a couple weeks, I think when it was first like leaked early from um, Trend Mood, and it somehow got out early before Natasha Denona wanted to announce the product. And I'm like, this is gorgeous, but I know Natasha Denona is expensive and I'm not gonna buy another Natasha Denona palette. So I kept telling myself that, I kept staring at this palette and then like trying to look away. And because of that, I never ever read the caption of any post about this palette to find out that it is $65. I thought it was $129. Every time I saw a picture of it, I thought it was $129. And I like refused to watch any review on this palette because I knew how badly I wanted it and I didn't want to spend my money on it. When I went to make this video earlier today and I was screenshotting all the products and I finally read the trend mood caption that says $65 and I'm like, this whole time, this palette was half the price that I thought it was. So right then and there I bought it today um, and I'm so mad at myself because I could have gotten it days ago and already have a review up for you guys. So that was my own little personal problem but I will have the palette um, this month, obviously, once I get back from vacation, I will give you guys a review, some tutorials. It looks amazing. And then here is a comparison from Natasha Denona of it compared to other full-size palettes. This is the Sunset palette on the bottom. It's in my um, Instagram collections under stuff I want. <laughs> so now I'm going to get that palette. I'm so excited for it. Let me know if you guys have gotten it already because I still don't want to watch any reviews about it because... I don't want to like anticipate it more than I already have. Um, but I'm really, really excited for that palette. I think it's gonna be awesome. All right, so next up we have the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. I saw this palette and I'm like, yes, I am getting that. And then I looked at it a little bit more and I ended up not purchasing it and I don't plan on purchasing it because the mattes in here I just know that I wouldn't wear at least half of this palette. Um, I don't normally go for like cool tone shades or colorful matte shades. Even when I'm doing colorful looks, I love to have like warm shades like purples or even browns and mix them with blues or greens or something. Um, I just feel like some of these matte colors won't really flatter my complexion. They're a bit more cool tone and the shimmers don't really stand out to me as like must have products. So. I think just seeing like the blue packaging made me excited initially and then I like stepped back, looked at swatches and thought about it a little bit more. Then I realized this is not the palette for me and I think every time Dominique Cosmetics comes out with a product, I'm like, yes, I'm getting it, yes, I'm getting it because the Latte palette is absolutely amazing. Um, the Prisma palette, I'm wearing it today. It's awesome. So I do want to keep supporting her brand. Next up, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Alyssa Edwards collaboration. This came out a little while ago. Um, I am definitely not purchasing this palette. I think that the Riviera palette is more on my alley for a colorful palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These shades, I just never ever wear these shades and I don't like to buy things for a life that I don't live. I feel like I need like a wall sign that says that. But anytime I buy like colorful makeup that I never wear, I buy it and I'm like, oh, I don't have enough neon colors in my collection. I'm like, yeah, I don't have them because I don't wear them. And just because I have them, I'm not gonna automatically start wearing them. So I'm not going to purchase this palette. I love getting Anastasia palettes, but I just know I wouldn't wear most of these shades. And especially when it comes to colorful palettes, I love pastels. I like light blues, greens, purples, pinks, um, like olive shades. And definitely not things that are like really deep, vibrant, dark blues, purples. Like I never wear colors like that. So I ended up passing on that palette. Oh, next up we have the new Kylie Cosmetics and Khloe Kardashian collab, the eyeshadow palette. I was taken aback by it, honestly. Like I did like a little, I did this when I saw it on Trend Mood. I'm like, oh, it like stopped me in my place for a second because 
those shimmer shades look so gorgeous in this palette now let me tell you the last time i bought a kylie makeup product or eyeshadow palette actually because i have bought some of her um lip products but the last time i bought an eyeshadow palette was the peach palette two years ago or so so it's been a while just because i try to buy um things that i know i love the quality of and it's always been hit or miss for me with other kylie palettes but this one looked really good the thing that is making me not want to buy it so much is that some of the matte shades look a little bit more cool tone which i definitely don't prefer but within this whole collection i actually really love the look of that highlighter and then also the lip products let me know if you guys have tried highlighters from kylie cosmetics i have not tried any of them let me know if they are like really buttery because that's the kind of highlighter that i like i do like her lip products a lot um, and i do like these shades but especially the eyeshadow palette is what drew my attention um, so I like it. I like the look of it, but I know that I don't love the matte shades in here And I probably won't reach for those so I'm gonna end up passing on it The next up physicians formula is coming out with some new highlighters These are the rose all day glow highlighters for $15.99. We don't have a launch date on these yet But they look so pretty and I definitely want to get these especially if they're like a buttery formula for sure I love the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. I didn't like cream highlighters until that product, and I would love a powder highlighter from them in a new formula. I know they have like the shimmer strips, but I want something like new and exciting. Um, I would even love a butter highlighter in a um, powder formula instead of a cream, but I think these look gorgeous. They kind of have like that same um, print as that really, really expensive Lancome highlighter that is like that rose-shaped product so i think that these would be awesome especially if they're like rose scented because physicians formula does some really awesome scented products they're one of my favorite drugstore brands and i'm really excited for these highlighters i don't think we have a launch date yet but i think that these are going to be awesome i haven't been disappointed by um their face products yet all right so lastly we have a new foundation from urban decay this is going to be the stay naked foundation it retails for 39 dollars and it comes in 50 shades we don't have a launch date for this foundation yet but the packaging definitely like caught my attention right away i love the packaging of this foundation and then especially with the price point because it looks like it's twice the price for that packaging um, and I'm ready for a new foundation from Urban Decay because it's been a while. I think the last foundation they launched was the All Nighter back in, I think, 2016. I remember I reviewed that foundation way back when. Um, I really did like that foundation, but over time I found it to be a bit too matte and full coverage, like a little too heavy feeling. Um, and then they do have the Naked Skin Foundation. I believe they still have that foundation. That was actually my first ever high-end foundation back in like 2013. This is all like memory lane with Urban Decay foundations. And then also the Naked Skin like BB Cream, which I really like as well. So I'm interested to see what kind of foundation this is going to be. I'm not seeing anything about like the formula. It's going to be like full coverage, matte, or anything in between, or like a dewy foundation. But just let's see it says weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear okay that's like describing every single foundation on the market but i'm curious about this one depending on um what the claims are i will probably end up purchasing it honestly regardless of what the claims are i might end up purchasing it as long as it's not something that um, a lot of people think is like super super heavy or like too full coverage but other than that i will probably end up purchasing this foundation let me know your thoughts about it so far or if you guys plan on purchasing it as well all right guys so that's gonna be everything for today's video let me know your thoughts on any of the products that i mentioned let me know if you plan on purchasing any of them or if you don't and why not in the comments below and if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up oh also i'm wearing a brand new lip color this is releasing or just released from persona cosmetics this is in the shade phoenix it's a matte lip color i love this formula from them i just love this brand so much everything they release is absolutely amazing um, first time wearing this lip color but it's the same formula they already have but just a side note on that because it's another new product and i just got this in the mail today i was so excited about this color but yeah that is everything for today's video if you guys liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye